In this video, we are going to talk about how to lose weight without exercise. So before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. You've probably noticed that when you ask someone for weight loss tips, they send you a never-ending list of options that range from calorie counting to dieting to cooking nutritious meals to going to the gym. You keep scratching your head, unsure of where to start. And if you happen to run into a daisy ante, God forbid, you're doomed. Those home remedies typically contain ingredients that are either difficult to come by or take a long time to prepare. Instead of working up a sweat, consider these five easy ways to gain respect from others and self-satisfaction. If you've been trying to lose weight and haven't seen much progress, it's possible that it's not because of what you're eating. I've spent years working one-on-one -on -one with clients to help them lose weight and keep it off, and I've learned that losing weight isn't all about what you eat or how much you exercise. Simple lifestyle improvements can also make all the difference in terms of seeing results. Here's a list of the ways to lose weight without exercise. Let's start. Number 10. Practice healthy eating habits. Veggies help by helping you to eat more food without consuming too much calories. This theory is known as volumetrics, and it creates the calorie deficit needed for weight loss without restricting calories or making you feel hungry. It's all backed up by science. Studies show that eating in large quantities will help you lose weight and keep it off. This suggests that people who have lost weight will use this strategy to hold it off. Additionally, whole foods are more filling and satisfying than the refined foods they substitute. Pizza and other foods made with highly processed grains whiz through your digestive tract, leaving you hungry soon afterward. This group of less healthy foods accounts for about 60% of what we consume. According to one small study, foods like these facilitate weight gain because they're designed to be extremely tasty and are softer and easier to chew. As a result, they're easier to scarf down and, as a result, easier to overeat. Processed foods often have a higher energy density since they have more calories per slice. People prefer to consume the same amount of food, so foods with higher energy density will contribute to weight gain because you're less likely to minimize your portion size while choosing these foods, putting you in a calorie surplus. Healthy weight loss doesn't have to be difficult, and it doesn't have to include a long list of items to avoid. Another year-long study found that adhering to the three basic tenets mentioned above was more important than the type of diet participants followed, low-fat or low-carb. Number 9. Downsize your plate size. What plate size do you use to prepare your meals? The size of your plate, as plain as it can seem, may have an impact on how much you really eat at each meal. Participants consumed 45% more food when served meals on larger plates, according to one report. Were they really that hungry? No, but we don't always feed with our stomachs in mind. Our eyes are also a part of the eating experience, and they will assist your mind in determining whether or not you will be pleased before you take your first bite. When you look at a large plate that is only halfway full of food, it can seem that the serving is too thin. So, long before you start eating, you might have determined that you need to eat more to be fully satisfied. However, putting the same amount of food on a small plate makes it seem more filling. As a result, you expect to feel more relaxed after feeding, which may aid in portion control. This week, consider eating off your salad plate rather than your dinner plate. Number 8. Control your portions. Eat from smaller dishes and bowls when you're at home. You'll likely consume fewer calories, and your brain will be fooled into believing you're eating more than you are. On the other hand, if you're eating nutritious things like salads or roasted vegetables, it's fine to go big on those. Another crucial recommendation is to avoid eating anything from a package, even healthier chips or crackers. Put some in a dish and store the rest in the bag or box. Given the colossal serving sizes in restaurants, portion management can be more difficult while eating out, so think about how you'll handle it before you go. You can have an appetizer and a small salad instead of an appetizer and a main course. You can share a dish with a buddy, or you can order a to-go box and put half of your meal in it before you start eating. You're more likely to stick to a strategy and intention if you make them ahead of time. Number 7. Get your 8 hours of sleep. A good night's sleep is necessary for your body to function properly. When your body is well rested, you will have more energy throughout the day and will not need to snack as often. Your hunger is directly related to how well you sleep. Sleep deprivation can lead to weight gain. As a result, make sure you receive at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. 
These are some basic strategies you can use to assist you in losing weight without having to exercise. Simultaneously, ensure that your body receives some physical exertion. Instead of monotonous workouts, you might set aside 15 to 20 minutes each day for brisk walking or other activities you enjoy, such as dancing. This can help you keep fit. Number 6. Breathe. When you're stressed, your cortisol levels rise, due to the fight or flight reaction. People who are high cortisol reactivity tend to eat more. According to some earlier studies, you know, those people who particularly tend to lose their chill under stress. Take time each day to do something to lower the stress temperature, whether it's meditation, exercise, or simply sitting quietly with a good book, to avoid the nom 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 reaction, and to preserve your health in so many other ways. Number 5. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. When you think you're hungry, you can actually be thirsty or even mildly dehydrated. So, before you grab a snack in between meals, try drinking a large glass of water. It's also a good idea to do it before a meal. One study found that it leads to more weight reduction. Carry a bottle with you all day so you may sip it as you go. Number 4. Hide those high-calorie snacks. Getting rid of the temptation is sometimes the greatest option. Place the junk food in an area where you won't be able to see it. This manner, rather than eating them on a regular basis, you can appreciate them as a special treat. Stock up on healthy snacks such as roasted sunflower seeds or flax seeds, makanas, fruits, dark chocolate, almonds, yogurt, and so on. This means you won't have to worry about consuming too many calories the next time you reach for a snack. Number 3. Take your coffee black. Over half of all Americans consume coffee on a daily basis, and many of them add calorie-dense ingredients like sugar, flavored syrups, or cream to their coffee. According to a recent study published in the journal Public Health, instead of being a zero or five calorie drink, the average calorie count of a cup of joe has increased by 1,280% to 69 calories. You'll save over 500 calories a week by drinking your coffee black, and because more than 60% of those calories originate from sugar, you'll reduce your risk of insulin resistance, diabetes, and other metabolic illnesses. One of our simple ways to decrease calories is to put the sugar packets on the shelf. Number 2. Chew thoroughly and slow down. Slowly chewing your food can make you feel fuller while consuming less calories. It is a simple technique to lose weight and avoid gaining weight. It takes time for your brain to register that you've had enough to eat. Chewing your food completely causes you to eat more slowly, which leads to less calories consumed, enhanced fullness, and smaller portion sizes. Your weight may be affected by how soon you finish your meals. Number 1. Eat without electronic distractions. Overeating is more likely in people who eat while distracted. Paying attention to your meals may aid in weight loss by causing you to eat less. Paying attention to what you eat may help you consume less calories. People who eat while they're watching TV or playing computer games may lose track of how much they have eaten. This, in turn, can cause overeating. One study of 24 studies indicated that those who were preoccupied at a meal ate roughly 10% more in that sitting. Additionally, absent-mindedness during a meal has an even higher influence on your consumption later in the day. People who were distracted during a meal consumed 25% more calories at subsequent meals than those who were not. You may be unwittingly overeating if you eat your meals while watching TV or using technological devices. These extra calories mount up over time and have a significant impact on your weight. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.